Welcome back, guys. This was going to be a silent video, but that all changed because I ran into a snare about midway, and I don't want it to happen to anybody else, so I'll, I'll explain that later in the video. So there will be some narration, and I'm just going to discuss a, a problem I ran into that I'm thinking is probably a frequent thing. So just stay tuned for that. So this part of the video is what made me decide to narrate it. Um, what I discovered is the eyepiece, the nose piece adapter for the webcam doesn't actually fit the C270. And unfortunately, they're frequently sold together on Amazon. Um, so as you can see, I, I ended up taking a 7 16th drill bit and drilling out the front cover plate. And the, the plastic is soft, and the uh, SV Bonnie, or ever how you pronounce it, uh, company nose piece is metal. So I was actually able to create threads by uh, turning the nose piece into the plastic. Now, uh, don't worry if you can't do that. You could always uh, run a bead of glue around it right here, but a 7 16th drill bit should get you through the front of it. And actually, you'll uh, you'll end up with a front cover plate instead of having to wrap it with electrical tape or whatnot. So it's a it's a better fit overall. I think that's going to work out better for you. But as I said, uh, I found it on Amazon. The two sold together, and you see it, you know, alongside the uh, C270, but it obviously doesn't fit. So that's a, that's. I wouldn't say that that's uh, Amazon misleading anybody by no means, I, but unfortunately um, they're often purchased together and, and the two aren't compatible, as you can see.
So here I've got it plugged in. The uh, software updated by itself on Windows, so that was no problem. The Sharp Cap immediately recognized it, so that's a really good thing. Here I've just got a telescope pointed out the window at that tree line real far in the distance, and I'm going to use that as my uh, way to test for infinity focus. What I'm using is just a, um, a Mead 90 inch uh, infinity. It's a pretty common telescope that people would have just for getting into astronomy and that sort of thing. It's just a regular old retail achromatic, nothing special. But here I am opening a sharp cap on the pull down menu. You can see the Logitech webcam C270. And that's the tree line in the distance out by the water tower. Just want to make sure everything will focus and that sort of thing before you you just put it together and run out at night with it. You know what I mean? That's that's never a good idea. Make sure your software is uploaded properly and all that sort of thing. This is a pretty popular webcam, so I decided to do a video on it. Um, right there, I was turning it 90 degrees uh, parallel to the ground uh, with this sensor. You might actually put a mark where your focus is going to be on your scope. That's a good trick, so you'll you'll be able to get to it pretty quick at night. But um, the webcam needs to be facing parallel to the ground with the wire on your left in order for the, uh, the orientation to be correct vertically. I've got a little dust blower over there because uh, what you can do. Um, is, is turn these guys upside down and, and blow the uh, the dust out of it if you got any spots or that sort of thing and a good trick is to point it at the sky or a really white wall or something like that and then you can see if you've got any dust specks on the sensor and that sort of thing and you can clean it before you put the nose piece back in it and that's a really cool trick and that way you also um, you know the dust spots or water spots or whatever could be on the front of your your optics and and trick you into thinking it's a sensor also but so yeah just point it at a wall or the sky and move it around and you can you can see what's going on with it anyway let's uh let's take it out and give it a go Adjustment knobs is 